if your experience of sounds is based in the concepts in your head that you've learned, what does reality really sound like? So you're, when you're a baby and you're learning to hear, there's this soundscape around you that will vary depending on the native language that you're being exposed to. It will also vary depending on if you grow up in the countryside versus in an urban place. And you're learning, your brain is learning what the vibe is of this place, this soundscape, all these vibrations coming at you. It's learning to recognize your mother's voice, everyone else in your family, the sounds of your native language. And it's building up this picture, this kind of sound picture of what the world is like. So if you take English as a native English speaker, in English, you split the sounds L and R, L and R, into two different categories. And you don't actually have to do that. In Japanese, they don't do that. They put those together as one category. But as a native English speaker, if I hear the word look and I hear the word rook, I can hear the difference. And there are experiments you can do where you get a computer generated version of those, those sounds and then you can perfectly morph between them from look to rook. Now, as you do that, reality is changing in a smooth way, but your perception doesn't follow it. What you hear, if you're a native English speaker, is look, and then you morph it a bit, and it's look, 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 and then suddenly, at some point, probably around 50%, it just flips, and it becomes rook, and you hear it as rook. You can't hear a kind of messy in-between sound. Even if you produce a 50% morph of the two, you collapse it into one or the other. It's like seeing something and you say, oh, is that a cat or a dog? Your brain doesn't have the capacity to say, oh, it's a cat dog. It's like a perfect mix of a cat and a dog. And my brain's happy there. And I'm just going to say that's a cat dog because I've never seen one before. And actually my expectation is cat dogs don't exist. Only cats and dogs exist. So you collapse into one category or the other. And it's very easy to perceive this with sound if you do this experiment. So what this tells you is that you're perceiving these categories in your head. And if I was raised in Japan as a native Japanese speaker with no you know, exposure to other languages, I would not hear the difference between look and rook because my brain will have learnt that there's a single sound, I think it's called Roku, which covers that whole spectrum of sounds. And it gets mapped, both look and rook, get mapped onto this single concept. And apparently in Arabic, there are two sounds, which to me both sound like t. So if you say both, I will hear t and t. But to a native Arabic speaker, they can hear, they sound very different. They sound as different as look and rook, L and R. So what this shows you is that Beyond these concepts, there isn't anything that reality sounds like. To hear the existence of sounds, that is this act of perception. It's a thing, an invention that your brain is doing. In, the, in reality, there's just vibrations. There's no sound. Your brain invents sound not to directly perceive what's going on in reality, but just to get by, really. You know, it evolved just to do these tricks that help us stay alive. And reality, the true reality of what it's like to experience sound waves, if you weren't raised with one language or another one, that doesn't exist. That doesn't make sense. Reality doesn't have a sound.